In that very moment when I first encountered Tantra, I fell in love. I fell deeply and passionately in love with Tantric philosophy and its tools and rituals. And I felt particularly strongly in love with Tantric sex. So if you're curious about Tantra and if you would like to learn how to start having Tantric sex for yourself, keep watching. My name is Helena Nista and I am a sex therapist and a Tantra practitioner. I make videos about great sex, legendary pleasure, about Tantra and passionate relationships. So make sure to also watch my other yummy, juicy videos. You might even want to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get access to all of my new tools, tips and advice. In modern world, Tantra is becoming more and more mainstream, which is amazing because its practices and teachings are truly life-changing. And I've definitely experienced firsthand the amazing magic and power of a Tantric connection in the bedroom. Let me tell you a little more about that. Before studying Tantra, I had a very mediocre sex life. I struggled to get aroused or to orgasm, I felt very disconnected from my lover, and sex itself felt mostly uncomfortable or even painful. And I really wanted to change things. I really desired a passionate, hot, sexy, intimate connection with my lover. But I had no tools or no insight about how to create that. When I started learning about tantric sex, it was like a revelation to me. I was finally getting answers to the questions I struggled with for so long. How to create delicious desire and a deep passion in the bedroom. How to feel amazing, blissful pleasure in my body. How to reach high states of arousal and get dripping wet or rock hard for the men. How to have expansive, full body, multiple orgasms easily, among many other mind-blowing things. So first of all, what is Tantra? Tantra is an ancient philosophy that comes from India and we nowadays mostly associate it with sex, but that's not really correct. Tantra embraces every single aspect of life and teaches us about the values of mindfulness, sacredness and specialness. When we do things tantrically, we bring our full presence and awareness. We're fully in the here and now. Not distracted, absent-minded, or trying to multitask, but fully in the moment. Whether we're eating, working, having a conversation, drinking a cup of coffee, or having sex. Because when you bring such intense presence to any activity, it allows you to experience everything as much more amazing, special, and meaningful. There's also a deep emphasis on sacredness. In tantric sex, lovers worship, revere and honor each other. They see each other as divine and each other's body as a temple of pleasure and delight. So in Tantra, a lot is not about particular things that you do, but about how you do them. To live tantrically or to make love tantrically means at its essence to be mindful, to recognize the power of being in the moment, to see and experience the specialness of each moment and to celebrate it with reverence. And in order to help you experience that for yourself, I'm going to give you a few practical pointers here. But before I do that, please make sure to give this video a like because let's be honest, tantric sex is just epic. And here are my tips. Turn your lovemaking into a ritual which starts with a sacred space. Tidy up your bedroom, decorate it with some beautiful items, even a few extra comfy cushions or blankets will do. But you can go a little further and light some candles, put on some sensual music, uh, bring some incense sticks or diffuse some essential oils and bring some light snacks or drinks. Bring also that sacredness into your intimate connection together. When you look at your partner, imagine that they are an embodiment of a god or a goddess. And when you touch them, do it with a deep sense of worship and reverence. Before you even touch each other, sit down facing each other and take a few minutes to become present. Close your eyes, deepen your breathing and follow the flow of breath. This will help you to disconnect from the busyness of your day and will allow you to meet your partner in a deeper way. As part of being present, make sure to also remove any goals or agenda from your lovemaking. And that includes focusing on the orgasm. As soon as we focus on the orgasm, we're not present anymore. We're ahead of ourselves. Tantric lovers actually forget about orgasm. This doesn't mean that they don't orgasm, quite the opposite. They orgasm abundantly, freely and effortlessly because instead of efforting towards that climax, 
they fall into expanded blissful orgasmic states. Using your breath consciously is a huge aspect of Tantra. Deep abdominal breath spreads orgasmic energy, so make sure to keep paying attention to the way you breathe. We tend to constrict or hold the breath when we're aroused, so make sure to keep your breath slow, deep and relaxed. And finally, slow down. It's easy to lose yourself in the heat of the moment, but these rushed erotic experiences are typically more disappointing than satisfying. So train yourself to slow everything down. Extend the foreplay, keep teasing each other, use plenty of kissing and slow sensual strokes. Play with pleasure, keep arousing each other's senses, and keep your partner begging you for more. And once penetration starts, remember that the more time you take and the more erotic charge you build up in the process, the more mind-blowing your orgasm will be. I hope that you loved this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I hope that this inspires you to keep exploring Tantra further and to give tantric sex a go. Please let me know in comments below whether you've heard of Tantra before or whether you're completely new to it. I respond personally to all of the comments and I look forward to reading yours. Thank you so much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.